Welcome back. You're watching the ATM Express. Our next slice of breaking news comes to you from and about Kashmir. We're being told by our sources that a discussion is likely on the Kashmir issue in the next week. Both houses are likely to give time for the discussion. Top government sources have said that, quote, we have no reservation for any such discussion. Jammu and Kashmir is peaceful. This is what they're saying. And the situation is totally normal. Any attempt to create falsehood will be effectively countered. Remember, Amit Shah had discussed Kashmir lightly touched upon it when he was discussing it in the Rajya Sabha on Wednesday. Now, my colleague, special correspondent Payal Mehta is with us on the phone this morning to bring us more updates on the story. Good morning, Payal. Our first question to you. When Amit Shah had touched upon the situation in Kashmir, how things are going all right there, he brought up some numbers. The opposition had primarily said that he wasn't touching on the detention of, for instance, the previous Chief Minister Farooq Abdullah. Are all issues going to be on the table? You know, the business advisory committee of both the Lok Sabha as well as the Rajya Sabha, you had members from the opposition to really ask for a discussion on the state of Jammu and Kashmir. Obviously, to talk about when normalcy would be restored and how, you know, things were going to go on from there on, especially asking questions about the restoration of internet, etc. That is when, that was during the question hour, so specific questions were really answered. But as far as the government is concerned and as far as the stand is concerned, in terms of wanting to discuss the issue, they said that they are ready to discuss all the issues that come on board whether it is on the det detention of the leaders, etc., everything will be answered because the government says that they have nothing to hide at this point in time. Of course, opposition leaders have a certain number of questions that I would really like to answer. Uh, the, the government would like, they would like the government to answer, but the government says that they're ready for everything. They have to, you know, rubbish all kind of falsehood and all kind of, uh, you know, indications or, you know, attempts being made to, to tell people or to create an image around the world that Kashmir was not normal. So that's essentially the idea. And the government definitely is looking to answer all questions. I've, I've been able to gather information from the top uh, government sources that every question asked will be answered. And of course, uh, since it was raised up in the business advisory committee meeting, the government is of the opinion that they don't want to run away from any debate. Thank you so much, Payal, for bringing us all of those details. It, there were reports initially that shops in Kashmir had shuttered their uh, stores in a response to Amit Shah's statement on Wednesday. Let's move on now to a different story. Let's move to Maharashtra, a state that we've been discussing a lot over the last few days, the political developments that were taking place there. In a late night development, so about 11 p.m. to a little bit after 12, Shiv Sena Chief Uddhav Thakre and his MLA son Aditya met NCP President Sharad Pawar. This was in an over an hour long meeting that took place at the NCP Supremo's residence in South Mumbai. The sudden meeting comes as the Shiv Sena continues its effort to form the government in Maharashtra with the support remember of the NCP and the Congress the three are trying together they're trying to come together they're trying to finalize their power sharing deal they're expected to finalize it any time now in the next two days but they've been doing that for nearly a month now since the Maharashtra Assembly elections took place remember BJP had actually won the most seats in those elections Shiv Sena had been its alliance partner but it broke away now NCP sources are saying that the chief minister's post is most likely to be on a rotational basis with the first half given to the Sena and the latter to the NCP, while the Congress is likely to have the Deputy Chief Minister's post for the full five-year term. Now, NCP leader Nawab Malik has said that the NCP and the Congress have reached a consensus on forming an alliance with the Shiv Sena. He'd said this before the meeting took place yesterday. Take a look. Today, there was a meeting between NCP and Congress leader. We had made a consensus to make an alliance with Shiv Sena. Before that, we will sit together with our pre-poll alliance and then the discussion with Shiv Sena will be ahead. We will sit together, we will make a consensus and we will form a government in Maharashtra. NCP and our beach we are going to Bombay. फिर वहाँ जो सिंसेना के जो प्रमुख नेता हैं उनसे बात करके आगे क्या करना कैसा करना वो तय करेंगे तो शाम में पता चलेगा कि कौन-कौन जाना है और वहाँ के तो खैर एक दो लीडर्स तो वहीं रहते हैं लोकल के लेकिन यहाँ से कौन जाना वो तय किया जाए तो थोड़ा 
आज की मीटिंग में क्या क्या डिसाइड हुआ फाइनल डील डन है कांग्रेस एनसीपी के बीच में और अब शिवसेना से बात होगी कांग्रेस राष्ट्रवादी के हमारा तो मत एक हो गए जो पॉइंट थे वो क्लियर हो गए अभी कल फिर भी मुंबई में हम बैठने वाले हमारे विधि कांग्रेस के जो सदस्य आमदार एम एल उनके साथ भी बैठने वाले हमारे जो प्रीपोल अलायंस था वो जो थे सदस्य उनके साथ भी बैठने वाले और आगे ये हम चल रहे हैं शिवसेना से कब मीटिंग होगी अभी ये ये दो पूरे होने के बाद उनके साथ भी मीटिंग होगी और उसी के बाद एक फॉर्मल अनाउंसमेंट एक अलायंस स्ट्रक्चर फॉर्मुलेट हो गया सर उनके उसके बाद ही अलायंस का हमारा फॉर्मूला हम बताएंगे ना तो ये कहा जा रहा है ढाई ढाई साल का फॉर्मूला होगा ढाई साल चीफ मिनिस्टर कुछ नहीं कुछ नहीं बताया